Hey guys, Ninja Boy here, and welcome back to an episode of Pokemon Violet. In the last episode, we defeated the last crew leader, whose name is Eri. And now, we have a big team star operator. Whole team star is actually Classophia herself. So. That's kind of a big surprise, even though I played the uh, Pokemon Scarlet version before. But anyway, um, here I am selling few items because I ran out of few items, okay? I bought some battle items, okay? To help my Pokemon gain more... More of that... <laughs> Gain more advantage in battle, so yeah. Anyway, that's all for now. Now, let's equip my Pokemon with few items. Like Hondo, let's give him... Give him the export belt, actually. Alright. And then, I think only Quackables left. Change a held item to Mystic Water. Now, these items can be bought in the Delibird stand, okay, the Delibird store. So, yeah. Now, we'll be heading up. And actually seeing what's there. Out. I think we should just fly over there directly. Kind of a drag. Okay, it's time for us to battle Plus Sophia. All right. Um, let's just get in there, okay? Oh, hey, what's going on here? Hey, it's Leave, or Director Clavel. Sup, Ninja Boy? Director Clavel? Oh, come on, the name's Cleave, remember? Actually, no. It's time for me to bring this little performance to an end. Allow me to reveal my true end. Aha! What? <laughs> well, I'm not that surprised, but hey, sure. I do apologize for deceiving you with my disguise. Truth, the boy you knew as Keith was none other than director of Uba Academy. The missed <laughs> Clavel. <laughs> I already knew that. What? But my disguise was perfect. Although not that now that I think about it, I did neglect to keep up my youthful act on a few occasions. That's right. The true identity of Classophia, the big boss of Team Star, was me all along. What? Why is he lying? <laughs> That's impossible. Honest to goodness. When you heard Classophia over phone, that was actually a pre-recorded voice. I pulled it off, pulled it off using, you know, one of those sighted gizmos. Oh yes, it was very, very clever. Oh, come on now. Fine, let's battle. I'm Plasophia of Team Star. This time bringing an end to Operation Starfall. Of course, I'll put up Stealth Ball. Oh no, it's using Reflect. That's annoying. I'll have to go for special attacks here. 
Fetch. Dark Pulse. You had to use Yawn on there? Come on. That's very annoying. All here. Well, I'm gonna fit. Oh, wow. <laughs> Garganical's pure fang fan ability was very helpful here. I like it. I like it. Well, that's the end of Oran Girl. Ah, Reflect War Off. That was all part of the strategy, I mind you. Okay, you're up next. Come back. Lycan Rock. I'll have to aim for a critical hit here. Okay. Here we go. Snow warning. Rock slide. Oh, it wasn't enough. Damn it. Oh, well, that sucks. Wait, isn't he gonna get damage from the recoil? Oh, sheesh. A double knockout. This is one heck of a tough battle, huh? Okay. Now whom do I choose? I guess I'll go with him. What did he choose? A poltergeist? Ghost type. I don't have a starter yet because I don't have the... The crack pot, you know? But anyway... Doubt it has levitated. Okay, okay, and that's fine. I guess we can stay in them. Good. A Gyarados and all right, we'll be fine. Salt cure.
Cat did a lot of damage. Now it's the time to fetch. Quackable. That seriously hurt, you know? Oh, nice. I think we need to end the attack with that. A Hondoom. I mean, we'll be fine. We could use him. But wait, we'll use him some other time. Let's defeat this guy first. Let's try out your new move, actually. So, combat. Nice. Neoscarada. Alright, this is where I'm gonna use Cloth Tire. Huh, to think that I, Tosophia, would back in the corner. Oh, come on, you're not Tosophia. Okay, I know it's gonna use a uh, grass type move, so to counter that, I'm gonna terrestrialize. Very well, it seems I shall have to terrestrialize my Pokemon. <laughs> Here we go. Taku Clavel is terrestrializing his Miascorza into a grass type. Now it's my turn to charge slice. Go, Terra Orb, charge! Ready, set, go! Close air, charge slice to Poison Tide! To take a step back, please. This may be, may get dangerous. Flower trick. I knew he would use that. That's why I terrestrialized so that I can reduce the grass type damage since I was a part poison and ground type. Now, plus I was a pure poison type. Good. Now it's the time. Poison jab. Well done. Wait, what? All oh, right, I gave it leftovers. I wish I had black sludge, you know. Well, no matter. It's over now. Well done.
Good job, Clothair. How strong you have grown. Oh, I forgot about the amulet coin, my bad. Ah, oh, sheesh. Well now, Master Ninja Boy, you seem to have grown quite splendidly. I see. However, Class Sophia has settled on a course of action and is just determined to see it through. I see. Please defeat Class Sophia. Okay, sure. You there, what do you think you're doing? Oh, Miss Tyne, a pleasure to meet you. It's no pleasure at all, Doc, Mr. Travel. I came here to investigate reports on Inclaton and the battle on school grounds, and what do I find? Why the director himself facing off one of our students, no less. What were you thinking? Oh no, if I could please ex just explain. You see, it's a rather sad tale. Ah, oh, spare me, you. Your excuses reek worse than <laughs> Stunky's behind. <laughs> Stunky's behind? Uh huh. Me remember, the big boss asked us to meet them in the schoolyard after dark. Okay. Ah, oh, sheesh. Look at that. I'll take heal my Pokemon first. Now, here in the academy, we can heal up our Pokemon through the nurse of this academy, alright? So, let's go to the nurse. I passed the health teacher certification exam. Oh, that congratulations. Thank you so much. I see. Wow, nice. But they tell me there's no room to add new classes here. So I guess I'll keep being a nurse Miriam for a bit. Oh, okay. Um, I need to heal up my Pokemon first. Wait, my Pokemon are healed up. Okay. Let's check out all the other halls, I guess. I wonder what the director is doing now. Good friend, you mean Cleave? <laughs> Wait, what? Which hairstyle is considered... How should I know? Wait a minute, let me check. Okay, the answer is this one. <laughs> Oh, ten bottles, you say? I suspected as much. No, I didn't seem to. Could it be that Pembroders have already had a stay in the sun? <laughs> okay.
Wait, we need to go to the schoolyard now, right? Ninja boy. Thanks for coming. This must be quite a shock for you, the big boss, Cassophia. You're both me all along. I see. And I had you battle the boss on my behalf. Okay. Yes, I'm ready. Thanks. That's right. I wanted you to record what happens next so I, I can send the video to Team Star. They need to see the outcome of this battle themselves. Okay, will do. I am the big boss of Team Star. The name's Cassophia. No, Penny! Now, bow down before the overwhelming might of Team Star's founder. Hmm, here we go. Versus the boss of Team Star, Penny! Umbreon. Alright, let's do this. I won't hold back in this battle. I'll stay true to Team Star's code. Star Force, huh? Stealth Rock. You're up next, Quackable. All right, close combat. Well done. Jolteon, okay. Let's see, you're up next then. All right, let's do this. Jo um, cloth fire, earthquake. <laughs> Using quick attack, poison point. Get poisoned. That was my plan all along. You see. <laughs> Easy peasy. Told you on down. So, what's your next Pokemon gonna be? A Vaporeon? I see. Hmm. Don't have a good matchup for it. Well, I suppose I'll have to rely on... ...its defenses. I do have a plan. Soul Cure. It's fine. That's right. Water types are greatly affected by it. Earthquake. Using Hydro Pump? Holy! Good thing it missed. Okay, good job. I don't think that's gonna be enough to take it down. 
gonna have to search. Good job, Garganico. All right, Quackable, take the hit. Good job. A Leafeon. I know whom to choose. Serulage. Come back. Quackable. Alright, Serulage, you're in charge. Better blade. Why is it only using baby doll lights? I have no idea. I guess Lycan Rock, you're up next. Alright, Rock Slide. Well done. A Sylvian one. I mean, we should be fine, right? I can't fault you on your battle skills at all. No wonder the boss is fell at your hands. It is time to terrestrialize. Ready? Like and rock. Terrestrialize. Become a pure rock type. And increase your rock type moves. Rock type terrestrialize black and rock. <laughs> Time to terrestrialize. Shine bright like the starry sky and become who you really want to be. Okay, Penny is terrestrializing for Sylveon into a fairy type. <laughs> this is a head to head showdown. Using baby doll eyes, huh? I see. Alright, rock slide. Rock slide again. Good job. My VV power will crush you into stardust. Moonblast. Please survive the hit. Please survive the hit, I swear. Oh, good job surviving the hit. Rock slide. Well done. It's all over now. Yep, it's all over. It's finally over, guys. It's done. We are done here. 
I think we should call it quits. Hold up. What are you saying we should break up the team? You gotta be kidding. We got carried away with Operation Star. Now everything's gotten out of hand. Yeah, well, that's what happens when you round up a bunch of bullies in the courtyard and make a show of learning and some manners. But we didn't even fight them in the end. We didn't do anything wrong. Indeed, merely did we declare our intentions to Baltude and Nail should the villains persist in their tyrannous oppression. Thus, a bloodless victory, we assure you. Yeah, they didn't even uh, we they didn't even send out their Pokemon. They just blabbered and apologized a whole lot. Our outfit must have spoken them good. But the bullies made a huge stink about what went down, and then they all ended up leaving the academy. Our plans backfired, especially epically. There is no way we are getting off scot free. I guess you're right. I'll fix this mess on my end. Just leave it to me. What are you saying? I'm the one who started Team Star. I dragged you all on into this. So I'll take responsibility for everything. Oh, noble and kind. Sorry about the mic, I'm saying this again. Now that the bullies are gone, you guys should start going to school again. Oh yeah, and what about you? I can't go back. Why? There is no reason for you to shut in your room anymore, right? All I can say to you guys is thanks. Even though we never met in person, we you are all so kind to me. Stop right there, me big boss. Why are you tr talking like we'll never speak again? I need to go take care of some things. Pity, speak to us. What is thine intent? Hey, big boss, answer us. Bye bye, guys. Thanks for everything. Thanks for everything, Ninja Boy. And you too, Cliff. I'm glad I could see this through to the end. I guess this is it for Team Star and me too. Hold that thought, uh, Miss Bunny. I'd like to check something with you. Check what? Why resort to something like Operation Starfall if you're the big boss of Team Star? Wasn't there any w other way to handle this? I tried telling the boss that we are done once before. But they didn't quit. Why not simply order them to? Our code stands that states that no one in the team has the right to order people around. I could ask them to do stuff, but I could never order them. So, it's back to the code once again. The bosses must have taken it very seriously. They did. That's why I knew I could use it to force Teamstar to disband. Because the bosses would do anything the code required them to? Even leave them? Yes, according and according to the code, they had to accept any challenge made to them. And thus the idea of Operation Starfall. Plasopia, let me ask you one thing. What does Team Star No, What do your friends in the team mean to you? They are, they are my greatest treasure. Splendid. Thank you for appraising me, appraising me of the situation, Miss Bunny. What? Now, young lady, there's something I should very much like to discuss with you. Hey, quit it with the old geezer act, please. You're creeping me out. Indeed. Well, then, before we talk any further, allow me to reveal to you my secret identity. Okay, here we go, guys. Haha! -ha. 
Gadget Clavel? Just so you know, just as close Sophia was your disguise, the boy you knew as Cleave was mine. But, but why? I needed a way to talk to Team Star on equal terms. Students do tend to shy away from speaking their mind to teachers, after all. Much more so when faced with the director of the academy. Yeah, but where do I even start? Wasn't the outfit a bit much? Plus, I have some big feelings about that wig. Uh huh. Well, that's quite enough for that now. Everyone, why don't you come on out? Huh. Yo, big boss. Long time no see. Momo. More like long time no meet, right? I mean, we only found out your real name just now. Melly. Verily. Is thy long hidden contents a sight for sore eyes, my lady? Atticus. Uh, so, um, I heard your name, real name's Penny. How have, been, how have you been this whole time? Archie. We found you at last. You have no idea how we are worried we have been. Gary. Okay, gang. On the count of three. One, two. Hasta la vista. Hello, Penny. Now then, Miss Penny and each of you young bosses as well. On behalf of this academy, I have something I'd like to say to Team Star. You have all you all have my sincerest apologies. Come again. As director of Academy, I let you down. My handling of the situation was a dismal failure. What? I still don't I mean why? You all told me about your reasons for forming Team Star and about your subsequent actions. Ever since my days, four days as a director, I, all I ever experienced of the academy is an environment blissful, blissfully free from bullying. Now I, but now I know this peace was built on the backs of your hurt and anger, and of course your immense courage, is putting things to the right. And so, I'll get right to the conclusion. The Academy's order for Team Star to disband and my threat to expel those who will not obey are hereby revoked. Does that mean what I think it is? Indeed, Team Star can continue to exist. Should that be your wish? Woohoo! Penny, isn't this great? Now we can all stay together. Oh, my heart is greedy with glee. But I betrayed all of you. You mean the Operation Starfall? Dagger Clavel told us all about it. As far, far as we heard, we only went through it to save us from getting ex expelled. You were just worried about us, right? Not like we are just wherever chuck the team just because someone told us to after all ain't our style i cannot even begin to imagine how you must have feared for us lady penny sorry for making you worry big boss we are all okay now but even so hold on everyone i have more to say as previously stated, the requirement for Team Star to disband has been revoked. However, there are some unsolved matters to discuss. Allow me to provide a few examples. Your, <laughs> your protected trancy, your brazen customization of uniform, school uniform, your unauthorized usage of academy equipment, your reckless modification and jeopardy. Jeopardize driving of Pokemon powered power vehicles. 
Need I go on? Your freaking disregard for school rules cannot simply be overlooked. <laughs> He's back to himself again, I guess. Thus, as punishment, you will be required to engage in community service. Community service? Yes, specifically, I'll be asking you to manage the STC. And that stands for? The STAR Training Centers. They shall be facilities for cultivating Pokemon trainers' talents. I plan for the Academy to be found to found them in collaboration with the Pokemon League. Whoa, now that's neat. The idea came to me when I saw Master Ninja by battling its way through your bases. The bases construction as well as the battle tactics employed by the students in the Team STAR are remarkable and unique and creative. I would ask that you continue with team activities and, but henceforth, as STC, STC staff members, using your former bases as training facilities. And that is the sum of it. Does anyone have any concern of it? Um, no. It sounds like fun, but so I don't see how this would be a, anything but a win-win. <laughs> I agree. This may be a weird thing to say, since the SCCs are supposed to be punishment and all, but you should totally join in too, Penny. That's true. We should, we would most happily have you at, at our size, lady, my lady. We can, we can go to school together. That way, if anything happens, we'll be sure to protect you. We'll all be ready. We are already talking about how great it'd be to have both Team Star and school, uh, school in our lives. This will be a sweet deal for us. So what do you say? You guys. Ninja Boy, what do you think? Sounds great. Hmm. But I just... No need to give your response right this moment, Miss Penny. Do take your time to decide. For now, at least, I think our little group should go our separate ways. Ah, not to say we should break up Team Star after all. I mean, mean it is time to leave. Master Ninja Boy, please drop by my office later if you would. Okay, sure, I'll drop by. Let's go to the director's office. Ah, here we are, Master Ninja Boy. I wanted to thank you for all the hard work in resolving the situation with Team Star. If not for you, I suspect I would have done the team a grievous injustice in my choice of punishment for their actions. You have my sincerest gratitude. Oh. Who is it? Um, it's Penny. Ah, Penny, do come in. Hello, Dagger. About the SCCs, I'd like to work on them together with the rest of Team Star. That's wonderful news. Thank you very much for your favorable response. But, um, I should be punished more heavily than the others, I think. Why so? Because of Operation Starfall? No, not that. Because of the other really bad thing I did. And what would that be? Uh, you know the leak points I gave you both in exchange for helping me out with Operation Starfall? I got hold of it hold of it sort of illegally by hacking the Pokemon League's LP management systems. I see. That is quite a revelation. I did not think such a thing was even possible in the first place. It was... It wasn't all that hard. I mean... I'm really sorry and I won't do it again. Hmm. This matter is out of jurisdiction, I'm afraid. I'll have to consult Miss Gita, the Pokemon League chairwoman, on how best to proceed. I figured as much. I do apologize, Master Ninja Boy, but I'll have to ask you to give us some privacy. 
Okay, sure. Can I go to the director office again? Okay, I think that's the end of the end of Operation Starfall. No, I don't think no. Let's head outside, I guess. At least my Pokemon are healed up. Ninja boy? Oh, Penny. That's something I want to talk to you about. Could you meet me at the front of the... Okay, sure. Alright, let's go. Pastor La Vizlar. The six of us thought of a catchphrase back when we created the team. It's so cringy, it's perfect, you know? Anyway, about the LP thing, I thought I was going down big time for hacking the league point system. But they're letting me off easy. Okay. What happened? The Pokemon League say they waive my death if I do some voluntary engineering for them. They ask, they even ask me to come work for them after I graduate, if you can believe it. Director Clavel and that Gita lady kept complimenting me like a weird amount. Apparently I have outstanding talent or something. Sorry for calling you out here to meet like this. I'm still not so great with face. I never seem to find the right words, but, um, thank you so much. You saved Team Star and my friends all along with it. I know my words won't be enough to properly thank you for all you've done, so here. Whoa, nice. That's an ETM. I'm sure you'll put it to good use. And one more thing. I want to repay the debt I owe you. If you ever think of a way I can do it, that, just let me know. I'm great with machines and hacking and stuff. So next time, I'll be the one helping you, Ninja Boy. Be seeing you, then. Hasta la vista. Alright, Operation Starfall, Starfall Street completed. I guess that's the end, huh? Interesting. Well, I think there's only one thing left to do, huh? And that's... The challenge of Pokemon League, isn't it? <laughs> That's right. Well, I'll be ending this episode off right here. Alright? And in the next episode, we'll be challenging the Pokemon League. Alright? So, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Until then, bye-bye!